let's let's move on to uh, a question that I'm quite interested to see your responses, and that's the, the World Series is a matchup of an American League team and a National League team, and when you play in the American League ballpark, there's a DH. When you play in the National League ballpark, there's no DH. So who has more of an advantage? Is it the Yankees when they have their DH, or is it the Phillies when there's no DH and the pitchers have to bat? Well, I think clearly there's an edge there for the Phillies. I mean, they've been playing all year with their pitchers hitting. Like, obviously, they're not great at it. They're pitchers. They're not supposed to be. But they've at least been up there before. They get, like, every time they go out, they get one or two at-bats. I mean, when the Phillies go to the A, when they play in Yankee Stadium for games one and two, and it comes down to it six and seven, they have that extra bat that they haven't had all year. That'll just take their already dangerous offense and make it more potent. Like, they can take Raul Banez, who's a little bit of a liability out in left field, put him at DH, take Ben Francisco, have him starting in left field, and all of a sudden, not only are they better defensively, but they've also got a better bat in the lineup than they would when they have a pitcher. But when it comes down to 3, 4, and 5, when they're playing in Philadelphia, they have some pitchers who do have some experience hitting the ball and have actually been doing all right, if I may say so myself, by pitcher standards hitting this year. And... Um, at least in that sense, I think there's a clear edge for Philadelphia. I mean, I think while the obvious answer would be that Philadelphia has the edge when there's no DH, I think that they're, I mean, they still do have the edge, but there are a lot of factors that we need to think about with the Yankees. I know that Joe Girardi, his first managing job was with the, was with the Florida Marlins. He knows how to manage a National League team and how to manage, manage substitutions uh, with a pitcher at the end of the game. Then you also look at the Yankees' rotation. You have CeCe Sabathia, who played last season with the Brewers, and had two home runs, I think. And then you have Andy Pettit, who played a couple of years in, in Houston. So all these guys have played in the National League. And so the pitchers, maybe they don't know how to hit, maybe they don't have like a full career of experience, or even this season experience hitting. But they do know how to lay down bunts. They know the role of the pitcher in the lineup. I guess the Phillies still have the edge, because Charlie Manuel is a lot more used to managing with this style this year than Joe Girardi is. But there's a lot of background with the Yankees that I think mitigates the discrepancy in between the two teams. And I also think that the Yankees have a much stronger DH. I don't know, whoever the Phillies are going to take off their bench is really not going to match up to Hideki Matsui. I know he's coming off knee surgery, but he still is really doing it this year. He hit fifth behind A-Rod, and it's going to be trouble when he's out of the lineup. But I think that there's really no one the Phillies are going to put that's going to hit fifth in their lineup and be productive like Hideki Matsui when you're playing the Yankee Stadium. If I may, like I mentioned, Raul Ibanez is having a career year this year. Even at 37, he's having the best year of his career. He had, I think, 33 home runs. That's a high for him. He started out impossibly hot, and he hasn't been quite as good since then, but he's revitalized. He's never won World Series before, and he's hungry. And with their usual lineup, their fifth hitter is Jason Worth, who also had the best year of his career by far. 38 home runs, 99 RBIs. So it'll be close between whoever either one of those two, and Hideki Matsui, I believe. But yeah. Well, I think my point is that maybe that those guys are everyday starters, but the guy that you're going to plug into left field is going to be Ben Francisco, so that would be the guy that I'm matching up against Matsui. It's the guy that okay. would normally be in a lineup. That's also true. Let's go to the last and final question. Um, we'll start here. Obviously, you think your team's going to win. Could you give us a prediction how many games, maybe an MVP? <sighs> um... In my column that I wrote, I said Yankees in six, so I'm going to stick with that. And I think that the MVP, I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to say Alex Rodriguez. I think that, I mean, usually you want it to be, I mean, you would think maybe if Sabathia starts three times, maybe he'll do it too, but I think a has been so hot right now. I think he has had so much, there's been ridiculous statistics about how many of his home runs have either tied or put the Yankees ahead. I think he's really feeling it right now. I think that he is not... Like everybody's not looking to him. He's not the guy that has to produce in order for the Yankees to win. There are so many other factors. You have Jeter, you have Mariano, you have CeCe Sabathia. Those are like Marta Shara. All these guys are really, people are looking towards them. And although people, the pitchers are going to be pitching around A-Rod, I think that this is a really good environment for him to thrive on the big stage for the first time in his career. All right. All right. Um, in my column, which will be out in the paper, I predicted Phillies of seven. And... Um, and I think that's very possible. I mean, this team obviously has shown that they can win the World Series, that they are a seasoned group of players who have postseason experience. They work well together. But also as one factor, one of you two mentioned earlier that as, as defending champions, sometimes they might not be as hungry, they might not be like as motivated. 
And I believe that's false. I mean, they have dealt with, like, a lot of criticism this year, like, a lot of doubters. At the start of the postseason, I did not see, like, out of all, like, the main big sports websites, I did not see many, if any at all, predict the Phillies winning the World Series. I've heard all year that they um, got, got off easy last year playing a Rays team that perhaps wasn't that good, and that if they had to play a real team like the Yankees in the, in the World Series this year, that they'd get smashed. And, um... I think that they have a lot to rally around here. They've got a city that obviously hasn't hasn't been particularly successful with its sports in the last few decades, and they've got a common cause here. They want to win another World Series, and they're motivated. They've got one of the most dangerous lineups in baseball, not just this year, but probably in the past decade, and um, and they know what they're fighting for. There you have it. Both of our reporters feel that it's going to be a long series. Uh... Well fought, probably a lot of home runs, good seats probably. in the outfield, get a lot of souvenirs. So Wednesdays, when it starts, right on Wednesday. Thanks for joining.